Hi and welcome to today's video tutorial on how to download video from a high connect uh hike vision recorder. All right, a couple things you're going to need here before you can proceed if you're following along with the video is a monitor to plug in and a mouse. Uh so most of our devices have the HDMI outputs in the back. So you'll want to have access to the back of the recorder. Also, we have uh, two ports, or usually it's two to three ports for USB. On smaller recorders, it's most likely just two. So uh, you'll want to have those accessible also, so you can plug in uh, your USB hard drive or USB uh, thumb drive to download the video. So the larger the video, you might want to go with a larger capacity thumb drive or hard drive. All right, so once you have the monitor mouse attached uh, and possibly even the uh, storage device, go ahead and right click on the main window here. So it should be the window you're at now. Right click. What you want to do is click menu. Uh, if you have username and password enabled, it's going to ask you for the username and password. Go ahead and enter that so you can get into the menu and I'll wait here while you do that. All right, once you have entered the username and password, again, you should go to the main menu by right clicking, going to main menu or menu. And then what you'll see here is some options and you want to click on where it says playback. Okay, in this playback window, there's a few things to look at here. On the right side is a tree of cameras. Uh, these are the cameras that are either uh, plugged into the recorder or just the channel number for where the pl camera would be plugged in. If you have a DVR, they would say A1 through however many channels you have. If you have IP, it'll say D1 through however many channels you have. So A stands for analog, D stands for digital. Okay, if you have a hybrid or a tribrid, it's something that can do both. You'll see A and Ds in there. And that's for analog and digital or IP cameras. All right, so what I'm going to do here in, in, in this particular recorder, is I'm going to select the first channel, which is D1, and I've named that channel. And then what you see down here on the bottom right, that's our calendar. So you can choose what day you want to review. So in this case, I'm going to go to the 23rd. All right, so I'm double-clicking there, and it's going to open up the video for the 23rd. All right, a couple other things to note, even further down, you can select how large the window size you want for reviewing video. For example, this is a 24 hour window, so I can see the full day, whereas this is only a 30 minute window and I'm only looking at these 30 minutes. Also, this on this scrub bar down here, you can scrub the video, of course. Uh, the blue line here is recorded video. So blue means continuous this is for like 24 7 operation uh where the yellow one here or orange however you're looking at it is uh for event-based recording and like motion line crossing that sort of thing uh we won't cover that here just so you know and then the green is the smart uh which we will cover in future videos so what you want to do here is select the starting time of you know where the event happened so you can go ahead and drag and drop the video and i'm going to pause it down here so you have your play actions down here and then these are the uh the features so you can take snapshots you can record whatever video you're looking at or you can choose a start and stop time for what you want to download so this is what we're going to do down here for this start and stop time so I'm going to choose that 1623.34 is going to be my start time. So I click that. You notice the icon has changed over to the stop time. So now all I got to do is go over to where I want to stop. So I'm going to do like 25 minutes, uh, 1625.08, which is about a couple minutes. And I'll do the stop time. All right. So what I've done now is I've created a clip to download the video. Your next step here is to select the file management icon which looks like a little gearbox down here all right we'll click that and it's going to take me to the uh, file management window 
Uh, here you'll notice I have one file created, and that's that file we just did the start and stop uh, action for. And so I created this file. Uh, there's a couple of other ones, like the capture that I was mentioning earlier, where you click and you record the video. And then there's this log and tags, which we also cover in later videos. So uh, for simplicity, simplicity's sake, we're not going to go over that. I'm um, just going to show you how to download this video here. So what you do is click on that D1. So it's for channel one. And it's that window we created. All right, let's go down here. Click export. All right, and you're going to see some... Uh, well, you'll see it's taking us to the export uh, window here. So here you can select the hard drive you want to download the video to. So I already have, uh, I already have a few files in here. So uh, I can choose to delete them. Just so you know, the f the drive has to be formatted for it to work. So if you haven't formatted before, go ahead and format it. Just note that anything that's on that USB drive or hard drive is going to be erased when you format. So be careful with that. Don't don't click format without kind of looking into that. And then so if if you have files in there you need, back them up, take them off that drive or use another drive. All right. So again, up here is where you choose whatever drive you have um, plugged in. If you have multiple, it'll show multiple here. All right. And then the next thing I want to do. The default one is fine. MP4 with a zip file. All right, and then I'll click export. So it's going to export it to this drive here. So once I click export, it's just going to go through the process of exporting it. Uh, it could take a few minutes to uh, longer times, depending how large that file size is. So just know if you're downloading like an hour of video, it's going to take a lot longer than this, where I'm only downloading a couple minutes. All right, so now it says file has been exported. So if I go down here, it tells you the date I did it, which was today, how large the file size is, and there is the file. So this is an MP4 format. Uh, just so you know, you cannot play this on a Windows machine natively. Uh, Windows Media Player does not support the codec for, for this uh, format, but uh, one thing to know is when when this file is, is downloaded in there it created a zip folder that you won't see here but that zip folder what it'll have is a little uh, executable player in there that you can drag and drop the video and review so if if the police department doesn't want to download external players and that sort of thing they have that in there that they can use uh, i always recommend downloading vlc because it supports many 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 different kinds of codecs and formats. So uh, that's something to consider there uh, using VLC Media Player. All right, so that concludes this video on how to export video from your Hike Vision recorder. Thank you for watching.